afternoon as they come in off an overtime loss to Michigan. Their only other loss of the season also was in overtime. They can ill afford their third Big Ten loss of the season, and they try to get a win today against Northwestern. Had a valiant comeback attempt against Minnesota a week ago Thursday, but fell short. They dropped it to Temperature now up to 57 degrees here. Light, steady drizzle, but it has not kept tens of thousands of Penn State fans away. This stadium now seats over 100,000 fans since the latest expansion, and Northwestern will get the football first, but David Kimball, as usual, gets a touch. Penn State defensive line. Which is the best in the Big Ten. Adams and Kennedy are really good inside. And Michael Haynes has eight and a half sacks, leading the Big Ten in that category. And a first down carry, that's a seven yard gain for Wright. Penn State linebackers at linebacker U. As you take a look at Gino Capone, he is in the middle. They start two sophomores in Wake and Stewart. Sean Meyer leading the tackle, is the leading tackler from the safety spot. He also leads the Lions with two interceptions. Brian Scott, a playmaker as well. So a couple of right runs gives Northwestern a first down high snap. They get it right back to Jason Wright. And that time he is stacked up. Thanks. And now his first third and long coming up. And he decides to take off. And he is stacked up short of the first down. This all-purpose guy on the Penn State side is deep. Fields it at his 13 and breaks free momentarily. Zach Mills had his coming out party in Penn State's come from behind win at Northwestern last year. He's completed 59% of his passes. And Larry Johnson had to wait until his senior year to be a full-time starter. Leads this team in rushing, second in receptions. And there's a couple others in Tony and Bryant Johnson as well. Mike Lukak gets the start at tight end for Penn State. Casey Williams is out with an injury. Mills so confident taking over this team last year and that is Larry Johnson right off the bat expect to see him get the ball on his offensive line Joe Iorio has been starting since he was a true freshman walk-on third and five Mills out of the shotgun the lefty with time and that is incomplete but a flag is thrown looking for his tight end Lukak He's gripping him. Let him go. On the defense. Ten yards. Penn State with the penalty gets the first down. Mills, all the time in the world, the pocket finally collapses and he takes advantage. Mills running for the first down is finally forced out of bounds near midfield. Keep container. Zach Mills, there's nobody outside contain right there. You got to bring a tackle in there, Clark. Clark didn't close the gate in front of the ball. Zach Mills knows where to go with that football. He turns into a running back. It's a big athletic quarterback. Motion from Tony Johnson. It's Mills with the option, flips it out to Larry Johnson. And Johnson sent success rate on third downs, tops in the Big Ten. And this time they won't get it as Johnson is taken down right. He came in and beat Northwestern in the closing minutes. This is Northwestern's second possession in a scoreless game. Jason Wright, the workhorse running back, gets it second and seven. Staus with plenty of time. That's Patrick who makes here for Northwestern. Staus stationary, throws it and completes it for the first. No and question, who's in charge here? First and ten for Northwestern. Three receivers to Stas' right. He goes over the middle to Walker, or to Jason Wright, excuse me. That's 600 pounds. That's a lot. Wright ran for the first down. He is now out. Noah Heron in the backfield as Stouse goes to the air. And on the run, he gets it to Heron. And Heron takes a huge hit and gets a first down. Make it first and 15. As Northwestern has pushed back five yards. Stouts with time and no go as he looks for the 24th overall on this Penn State staff. Stouts going left and firing too high for John Schweiger. And a flag is down on the sidelines. Not excited about no it. No foul on the play. Sideline. So and a half. Three receivers to Stouts' left. Good rush and they get him. That's Michael Haynes with his nine and a half sack of the season.
screen coming in goes with a bull rush and just pushes the offensive tackle back into the quarterback see he, he Michael Haynes presents problems see a first and ten now for Penn State still looking for a first score Tony Johnson in motion Larry Johnson right up the gut and they're leading rush young freshman on that Virginia football team but they're down early first down run for Johnson little play action for Mills looking deep and the stretch out incomplete. Brian Johnson just couldn't grab it. And the quarterback. Right, Michael Robinson now. Uh, the slash player. This is where he is most dangerous with his feet. And Michael Robinson runs for the first down. He's in the 90% of the time he'll hand the ball. It's a quarterback draw or a counter with a quarterback. It's an old single wing play. And when you're 230 pounds in the quarterback and you're listed as a backup tailback. Now he's coming in motion. They fake it to him. And Mills off the fake, completes it for a first down to Tony Johnson. He has to hold some of the Northwestern defenders because they know he's their weapon. And this is a nice throw. He throws it high. Tony Johnson goes up and catches the ball with his hands. And Mills goes to him. Robinson is only a year behind Johnson. He's a sophomore. Behind Mills, that's Larry Johnson breaking free inside the five and tackle just short of the goal line. Him, he's going to come around right here and he's going to kick people out. You got to get off blocks. You can't get off blocks. You can't play. Missed tackle. You got to bring people down and run. First and goal after that 24 yard run. Given to the fullback. Touchdown, Penn State. That's Sean McHugh. Johnson doing a lot of the work for Penn State. They strike another kickoff, and the guy who specializes in touchbacks isn't going to get one this time as it's kicked short to Jason Wright. And then Wright gives it up to Jeff Backus, and it works. Backus breaking free, and he is finally shoved out. 49 yard return. Northwestern starts in Penn State territory. Wright doesn't get much. Wisconsin trying to bounce back from the loss to Indiana. Stouse under pressure gets it off to Wright. And Wright, nifty runner on the 36. Stouse, time, finds Roger Jordan. For that means is one aggressive guy. Stouse running away from the blitz, but he cannot get away from Gino Capone. Second sack of the... Got Scott Free, here he comes. Nobody touches him. And this time does not let Stouse escape him. Now, Stouse feels that jersey. Stouse, Schweigert, and he makes a nice cut inside. The ball on the board, it now goes back to 39 yards. And that kick is no good. As Penn State now takes over after the missed field goal from its 22. Mills is just whacked down. 17 with that loss. So Mills gives it to Larry Johnson. And that points on the board, especially on the road against the 21st ranked team in the country. Third and 11. Mills up top for Tony Johnson. That is incomplete. A flag comes down. Down conversions. Second and 10 after that last incompletion to Tony Johnson. Larry Johnson getting around the left side. And he is... Mills pitches it late to Johnson, and he does get it. Mills with three wide receivers. Looking and finding Bryant Johnson. Second and three, Larry Johnson stopped in his tracks, but gets away from pressure. Larry Johnson breaking free, and he's finally tackled at the 16-01 run. It's already today is Larry Johnson. Might get it on this carry. Johnson. Inside the 10, this is the 100 yard mark for the fourth time in his career. Q stands in front of Larry Johnson, blocking for him. Johnson towards the end zone, and he is in. Touchdown, Nittany Lions. Yards already on the day. Now he's got a touchdown. Just over three and a half minutes. Penn State up by two touchdowns, and Jeff Backus. This is the second time now that they've handed off on a kickoff. Jason Wright goes backwards. Stouse rolling, and that is a high catch and ruled the catch. 
four-yard gain being called for that roughing the passer. Stouts running away from Haynes, puts it up, and a lot of blue jerseys converging on that. More pressure. Stouts retreating, dumps it off to right, and he only picks up a third and eight for Stouts. Running away, and he doesn't get away. That's Gino Capone's second sack. Get rid of the football. If the guy's not there, get rid of the football. Even though shotgun is still considered a three-step drop, a quick route. Nobody's yeah. picking. Out of the eye, Larry Johnson gets away from the first wood, couple of would-be tacklers, slips another one, and Johnson is finally pushed out of bounds at the 26. And have the desire to make a tackle. Larry Johnson has the ability to make people miss, give him a leg, take it away, and keep going. It's hard, he's a hard guy to knock off his feet, but if you close the gate behind the ball and you tackle him by his ankles, he's not going to go back. Mills, free on the left side, decides to throw it, and it's complete to Tony Johnson. What a play. Thinned out secondary, gets even thinner. Get you back to Larry Johnson. Good blocks. Up at the point of attack. Huge, huge game on ABC. Third and goal. Mills with the pass. Easy. Mike Lukak, the tight end, all by himself for six more. And when you got a guy that's gone for 10 yards a pop every time he gets a ball, obviously he's going to draw attention. Lukak, I know. Getting the job done, boy. Great ball handling by Zach Mills. The fans here are making a lot of noise in front of Tony Staus. And he completes it anyway to John Schweiger. He's a little bit of short pass. Then maybe things don't go well. Then you go downfield a little bit. Well, he's running for his life, and that is bounced to Larry field. Johnson. And then they don't get any rest with these three and outs. Bryant Johnson up the middle. Plenty of room as he is. When you take signals, you know how to give signals. Michael Robinson back in the game, holding on to it from the quarterback position, and this time he has tackled. There's a win to this game, did not start today. Larry Johnson, Larry Johnson, and more Larry Johnson. Turn out, you get a lead block by Peterson, and nobody touches him, nobody gets him a good flag football. And Johnson, again. Second and nine, Mills to Johnson. And Johnson's just carving up this one from the three. More Larry Johnson. Oh, he is stopped. third and goal. Mills takes it in himself, or does he? A congregation near the goal line. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what the congregation's about. Let's just give him a touchdown. That was in. And they eventually do. Offensive coordinator, good hold, good touchdown. It is all Penn State. You know, guys are blowing assignments and you know, Penn State's exploiting them, and also we're not tackling. I mean, we're arm tackling. Can't do that in the Big Ten, especially with a guy like For a like sixth that. year, a medical redshirt should get it. He's got 80% motion right now on the knee from the MCL ACL tear. Confident he'll be back next year. Well, it's a big loss. You need leaders on the field more so than you do in a lot here. Oh, that nothing doing there is Gino Capone Brown. Third and five. All alone for the first down, Kool-Aid Patrick, the junior from Putin. Second and seven. Give it to Jason Wright, and he picks up the Wildcats. Staus decides to take off and runs for the first down. And this is for Brett Bazinelli, who broke a bone in his leg last week. Staus, oh, that's trouble. Throws it right to Penn State. It is intercepted by Brian Scott. Not a good decision. Cover three. He's deep as the deepest. All he's doing is playing center field. Comes over and makes a great break on the ball. Then, when you return an interception, this is great. As a defensive rule, you clear the numbers. Brian Scott has it badly. So Penn State gets it back. We're inside a minute. Larry Johnson. It has been a Larry Johnson half. Another first. Mills looked at him briefly, but then came back to Larry Johnson underneath. Bill Campbell Johnson. had 207 yards in the first half and 68 against Syracuse. Johnson adding to that 180. Sophomore getting that left arm in there to knock it out. Mills 
for Johnson in the end zone, and Tony catches it for the score. You see right here, Zach Mills, the play action. Don't even honor that. And your defense is deepest. You're in the zone. Covey team tries to come underneath, tries to knock the ball away. No. He's going to come for the Wildcats. A little squibber taken by one of the up guys. That's Noah Heron, the fullback. And with that, time has expired here in the first half. Tony Johnson and Larry Johnson, the two brothers are together. They have been putting a hurting on Northwestern. To break the single game rushing record by Kurt Warner. That's right, he already has 191 yards. Kurt Warner, 256. Set that back in 1981 against Syracuse. And Penn State gets the football first here in the second half. Kickoff. Here's our ESPN2 game track in case you're just joining us. It is a career rush day as Larry Johnson has 100, had 147 yards. That was his previous career high, now 191 and counting. And Gino Capone with two of the 32 years, 19th year being in charge of this offense. That pass is caught by Sean McHugh, the fullback. Third and two. And there is Larry Johnson. He's over the 200-yard mark and a whole lot more. Johnson with the stutter step, and he is pushed out of bounds by Braden Jones all the way down at the two-yard line. And go give your brother a high five there, Larry. Give TJ a high five, Tony Johnson, because he'll help you get another six extra yards. He gets one knock block, knockdown block there, and here he comes and gets two knockdown blocks. And football, so that's a great job by Tony, a great job by Larry. But Tony Johnson getting two knockdown blocks. Receivers blocking downfield equal big plays. Well, and they marked him out at the six-yard line. Still, that was a 60-yard gain. He is four away from tying the record. And Johnson takes it into the end zone. That's a new Penn State record and another Nittany Lions touchdown. series and he gets the record put his shoulder back into its socket and been briefly dislocated afterwards he actually laughed about it now he's got some ice on it looks like a rest for the rest of the game Schweiger with the first up to see if he comes in he's played next, well today the next offensive series is run and putting pressure on the passer but they're strong up the middle with Adams and Kennedy both those guys or NFL prospects in my eye. I'd be surprised if Notre Dame wins that football game. I you know people saying, what? I think Air Force is that good. Mike Gasparato right has there. it. Lined up at running back. They get to him, and then Mills with the throw to Tim Shaw. And the true freshman. Hopefully draw on the defense. Here's the fake. The defense goes. This is a great touch pass. To Shaw. Shaw again catching oh, it. Great touch by Mills just to lift it over the linebacker's head. Robinson is indeed the quarterback. Gasparato gets another. Terry Johnson has compiled. He's a distraction or somebody that the defense has to account for. Now out of the quarterback spot. He gets it down. Plenty of time. Robinson looking. Left corner and that is picked off by Raheem Covington. One yard line. Oh, here on the big fullback as he trapped here at State College. That pass is completed to Roger Jordan. Great effort from you guys. First down, Jason Wright. Might have lost a yard on that one. With vengeance in their minds. They came out with vengeance in their minds and vengeance on their play. Schweiger. Completed for the first down. It's Roger Jordan yet again. So Jordan has a couple still over in the Big Ten. Staus.
trying to find somebody open, and he eventually does find John Schweiger. Northwestern receiving career charts. Staus completes that. In front of that way. But our measuring stick now is wins and losses, as it should be. Not being satisfied. Close is not good enough. Fakes it to right, and then a terrible throw. <laughs> Joe and Pa. I hope that stuff doesn't clog your pores. Mike Gasparato with the uh, short game. This is what we do, you know, this is typical for, you know, Saturdays for as long as we know, and this is, I mean, third year overall here at Penn State, 37th is the head guy. Robinson off the play fake, completes it to Andrew Richard. Family first. Robinson, time, looking for Palmer, and a flag is down as Palmer was sixth overall. First and 10 from the 38. Gasparato getting a ton of carries. 28-7. Thank you, Matt. Gasparato with his seventh carry picks up a defensive tackle on this team. Tim Shaw, true freshman, fourth, fifth time this year in Northwestern, has given up at least 40 points in a game this season. And Penn State doesn't look like they're done yet. Is Tim Shaw, Big Ten. Michael Robert Robinson, quarterback, handing it off to Pete Gilmore. And Gilmore takes a couple of guys with him inside. Robinson pitching it to Gilmore. Can he get room around the right side? No, as he is pushed out behind last week to be Clemson. Fourth and goal, going for it, and another touchdown. This time it's Ricky Upton. proud about today. You're absolutely right, Dave. It's Paterno is a, a New York guy. Pat Durr, the linebacker from Northwestern, talked about that. They make tackles. First up. Like that. There you go. Brandon Horn is tackled. Mike, he was a yeah. running back here in the late 70s. Mike watching his little boy put a curtain on somebody. Jeff Backus is knocked down. The advantage of having speed in a nickel back versus the spread offense. He knows how to make it play. his third game playing defensive back. Freshman from Germantown, Maryland, Jason Wright, who stayed an unranked team, was beaten. Third and 11. Staus, can he get away from pressure? No, he cannot. John Bronson with his second. Haynes on the other side. Now you add this guy in the mix, John Bronson. I'll, I'll do my own power rush here and get a sack. Those are four formidable defensive his linemen. His on his side of the football. Second and eight, another handoff to Gilmore. He escapes some tackles. Sophomore from Western Third and three. Here's his first collegiate pass, and Hunter incomplete. Looking for Tyler Velosky. Strongest mascot I've seen is Sparty. They need to get on Sparty's workout program. Sparty. Michigan State. He's got those big muscles over there. Looks like football again, but through a lot of rehab and through a lot of patience, Braden Jones return to Northwestern. It's a good thing he did, guys. He runs a 4 4 40, the fastest linebacker. Yeah, I can't even say it because I'm not smart. Educational institution, certainly in the United States. Stops to Heron. Doesn't get much. Lins in Happy Valley, Penn State. On top of Northwestern, 49 to nothing. The majority of the over 100,000 of them are still in attendance. As Ricky up to 157 of those 403 yards. Larry Johnson's legs. Tim Shaw breaks a tackle. Not weight bearing ball. I tell you, he comes back from that. He has my respect. That's a, that's a tough injury. Upton again trying to reverse field on the slick field, and he does it nicely, cutting inside to pick up another Nittany Lions. Nope. Nope, instead, I give it to Adam Sink. Get them kick started a little bit. That's Heffelfinger again. That was the one that sticks out to me. Kinta Palmer taking it and not getting much. Northwestern with the ball. One more chance to avoid a shutout. Staus completing the pass to Kevin Lawrence. Acura highlights Michigan Purdue, Carolina, and Virginia. Virginia coming back, and the Georgia Bulldogs are rolling along. As is Roger Jordan up close to a first in two. Actually, the athletic director here at Penn State has been in communication with the conference about it. Staus goes down yet again. Paul Cronin, the redshirt freshman, with another sack. Third and 19. 
over the middle, and that is incomplete. Kevin Lawrence had it in his hand. Stouts being pursued, going backwards, and he drops the football. Penn State gets it, and that kind of encapsulates the kind of afternoon that Northwestern has had. Total domination by Penn State. Texas A&M 24 to nothing. Northwestern had gone 30 games without a shutout. They lost to Michigan State 34 zip three seasons ago. What an effort for Joe Paterno's club. They go to five and two, even their record to two and two in the Big Ten. And they go to Columbus next week to take on Ohio State. Larry Johnson, a new single game record as he ran for 257 yards. Our final score, Penn State 49, Northwestern nothing. Coming up next, college game.